iPhone, oh well, this is just the home button for iPhone 7, I believe, and the guy said he ripped it up, and this, uh, goo no, I'm kidding, that's Flux right there. Here, let me blow this up. Let me show you what's going on here, but, um, he said he ripped it, okay, and, and he did rip it, like, you see this bottom part right here, this is kind of tape, but this is really just tape, so I don't, can you see that or no? Yeah, you can see it, okay. So that's just tape, and he was like, oh, I ripped it, and it's not working anymore, but that's not the underlying problem, you know. Um, so what you can do to test to see if you're missing stuff is is you can just diode mode it. You know, just diode mode it and see if you're getting uh, a reading on every pin, you know. And I've already, I've already taken measurements of a known good, so so long as your, your diode mode readings are good, then, you know, that's not going to be the issue. So the real issue is, oh, man, team extractor just ate my thing. The real problem is, or, is this right here. You see these little pins right here? They were actually bent downwards. Um, you can see one right here that's still bent, kind of. Actually, there's three of them that's still bent. Can you see it? You can kind of see like the end of them right here. One, two, three, and then there's three that's broken. So that's that's the real problem. You know, the problem is not the stupid, the stupid flex. Um, uh, I feel kind of bad because I don't know. I don't know if Shake's gonna watch this or not, but I feel kind of bad because uh, Shake came in and took a class for me for a day, and uh, he should know how to fix these. <laughs> so if you're watching Shake, um, I feel like I didn't do my job. I feel like I didn't do my job, Shake. I'm going to lower my heat a little bit because I really just want to take it off. You know, it starts bubbling up if you use too much heat. So I'm going to use a lower amount of heat and see if I can just slide this off fairly quickly without damaging anything else. See how the ground kind of comes up and like it bubbles up a little bit? Eh, it kind of sucks. So I'm just going to replace this connector basically and that, that should fix the problem hopefully. I think it will, yeah. Uh, I wonder if this is even ground or not. Let me just double check this. Yeah, it looks like this is ground. So it looks like I'm probably going to have to cover that up. Mm, is it necessary? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Since all that's, you don't want any of that stuff touching. Alright, that's fine. So I'll just cover that up real quick. Some green stuff. I think that's probably it right there. So I'm not going to go overboard with the green stuff, otherwise, and get all over the place. All right. Well, while this cures, I'm going to go look for my iPad home button connector. Oh, actually, not iPad. Okay, so seven. I hope I know where they are because is this it right here? Flex home flex connector. Okay, there you go. All right, still carrying. 
Let me get my connector out and then I'll uncure it. <laughs> okay, uh, almost done here. It doesn't take but a few seconds to cure it, so the curing is done. Okay, so cured is done. Get my new connector out. Okay, so uh, where is it at? Okay, there you go. Uh, and then there's really not a whole lot to this, really. I, I I'm probably just going to use my my uh my soldering my uh tweezers to get this on and. Minimal flux. So I'm going to bring my tweezers out. Be very careful with it. Bring it to the ends first. And uh, it's not a whole lot to this, my friend. Oh, is this even the right? Yeah, okay, it is. I'm having a tough time here. All right, there you go. I just got one. Make sure. Okay, so make sure there's room for both sides. Before we solder the rest of it. Ample room on both sides. That looks pretty good right there. Okay. And then, okay. So, boom. Make sure this is flat. There you go. That's flat now. I'll go overboard. Okay. One, two, three, four, four, five. We'll inspect it afterwards. Okay, so that's pretty much good. So let's let's clean it up, clean the IPA up, and then check it out. So I'll probably diode mode it after I'm uh, done, completely done, and then just to make sure, because I don't think he sent the phone with it, so. So let's let's double check these joints right here. Make sure they're all shiny and they're not uh, weak. Yeah, this is all good right here. I don't see any bridges or anything like that. That's easy. And then we'll go to the other side too. Um, and that looks pretty good. Yep, all looks good. Okay, so I think that's pretty good right there. So I think for the most part that's pretty much a day we'll call that a day um, so I guess what I can do is just diode mode it and just see if I'm getting you know make sure I'm not getting zero for anything uh, make sure I'm getting some reading for everything and if I were really uh, anal I could probably compare my values with Um, the values that I did on a known good. Yeah, these are all like, they all look good. Nothing 
abnormal here. All right, so I think this is going to work, and then we'll just tape the bottom up. Uh, that's not that's irrelevant, really. So, like, like see that rip right there? We'll just put some tape on it, and then that should be good, good to go. All right. So. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I think that's the end of this one. So I just want to say thank you for watching this channel. And I wanted to promote our online micro soldering course. Um, we have it hosted at udemy.com, and it's at this point it's four hours of video instruction. Um, the reviews are pretty good, um, and we talk about everything from the basics uh, of, of an iPhone Logic board, um, and then we have a section on ZXW tools. Um, we have a little section about how to set up your hot air rework station, your micro soldering um, station, and how to use diode mode. Uh, the third part is the three most common repairs, which is no touch, no backlight, no charge. And the fourth part is all about data recovery. So um, if you go through our website, it's 100 bucks. And some people say that learning online is not the best way of doing things or you can't learn micro soldering online I beg to differ um, I don't know about you guys but I started watching YouTube videos when I first started about three years ago and that's how I learned it um, and not only that but you know you go to a live course some people like live courses but not everybody has three thousand dollars to spend on a live course right so um, and then yes you're right you can go to YouTube and watch all these videos um, but you're not gonna when people make these videos they don't go from A to Z they usually start from somewhere in the middle because they assume that you watch something earlier on or one of their earlier videos so this course is all-encompassing it has everything from A to Z um, to help you get started in micro soldering and we are adding stuff um, on a weekly maybe monthly basis and we're, we're gonna just gonna keep adding this thing and um, so if you want to get started just I mean you can also take a class but uh, you know to get your feet wet I think this is the best thing to do right here and I vouch for it um, thanks for watching the video I was also gonna say um, in order to buy it with a discount, $50 discount, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then it's going to be the first item on here. You click on buy at Udemy and that will give you the $50 off. Thanks.